Hey guys, it's Dr. James. Today I want to talk about a condition that is plaguing the world currently. A condition that's going to involve the spine, our posture, and our nervous system. A condition that is highly related to the increased sitting positions that we are taking during our week to weeks at our job, the increased use of technology use, and the increase of us putting our heads into what we call a forward flex posture. Now the condition I'm referring to is called anterior head carriage or forward head posture. Now what does that mean specifically? Now first, before we can define abnormal, we must know normal. When we're looking at the side of somebody, what they should have is proper alignment. And proper spinal alignment should look like the shoulder, the center of the shoulder here, is in line with the ear hole. Now, when we place our head into repetitive positions, in consisting of a forward flex posture, what this position long term is going to do is it's going to put more stress on your joints, on your ligaments, on your muscles. It can also be related to increased neck pain, migraines, headache, tempo mandibular joint dysfunction or TMJ, shoulder pain, upper back pain, the list goes on and on and on. Now as this stressor manifests, it can manifest into other things. They call the neck curve the curve of life simply because your brain has to communicate to everything in your body by sending the information down through the neck. C3, 4, and 5, which are the third, fourth, and fifth bones in your neck, they keep your diaphragm alive, for example. So if we see compression on those nerves, ultimately, and we have neck pain, long term, it can lead to things like breathing issues, heart issues, digestion issues. Now, this is very scary because we're seeing this more and more and more. About 90% of people that come into the practice have a forward flex posture. And the even more troubling thing about this is, is some of the worst postures that we are observing are in the children, are in our kids, the young adults. And why? The current research shows that children nowadays are spending anywhere from six to 10 hours on technology per day. This is sickening to me. Now what we're finding is, is that actually normal anatomy is starting to differ from what we've seen in the past because of this condition. Now what do I mean by that? Here we're looking at an x-ray of a neck. It's the side view of a neck here. What you can count is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven cervical vertebra. So in the neck, what we should have is a nice, healthy neck curve. So that neck curve should be like my hand here and almost a reversed C shape. Now what that is going to do is properly distribute the load of your head equally amongst the back joints here, which we call the facet joints. Now, as we begin to lose that curve, what ends up happening is, is our cervical spine starts to collimate. Now, when it collimates, what is it going to do? It's going to begin to load the bottom of the column, making you more susceptible to that one thing we all want to prevent, degeneration or arthritis. Now, the new finding that I'm talking about in regards to differing of anatomy is going to be seen right here. We are seeing this, what we call posterior horn appear in many patients in today's world. And you're thinking, what? A posterior horn? Yes, we are literally forming horns on the back of our heads. Now, what the heck is that? So what this is, is what we call a traction spur. Now, a traction spur, what that essentially is, is an area that is going to to attach muscularly, so a muscle attaches to this area, that muscle is under so much tension that it physically starts pulling the bone away from your skull. Can you believe that? We are forming horns at the back of our skull because we are putting our bodies into this position so much in our day to day. If it's doing this to your skull, what is it doing to your brain? It, it's unbelievable. You look at the Journal of Geriatrics and they've actually associated that a loss of neck curve can take anywhere up to 10 years off of your life. It's very, very scary. And what's my point to all this? This is all the reasons why for regular routine maintenance, chiropractic spinal care right? Not only do we want to prevent our joints from deteriorating, but we want to maximize the function from our brain throughout the rest of the body. Now, again, guys, this is what's really scary is where, what population am I seeing this more in? I'm seeing this more in kids, right? So can you imagine if we're seeing this in kids now with their necks under more stress 
then they've literally been living on this earth. How's that kid going to be when they're 30? How's that kid going to function when they're 40, when they're 50? They are going to have a lot more issues than we see in our world currently. And we're seeing that already by the anatomy differing. So this is all the reasons why not only you need to be checked, you need to bring your family members in here, your kids, your friends, anybody and everybody should be under some type of regular chiropractic care. And this is the amazing thing, guys. If we remove the stress away from the spine, what we can see is, is that all of a sudden the structure of the spine looks different. The brain is able to communicate better with the body and long term, you'll maximize your health. I hope everybody has a great day today. And again, when you catch yourself in that forward flex position, I want you guys to make it a goal to hold that phone up, build that muscle strength so you can start preserving your spine and avoid the horn-like projection.